welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Goodbye again. In George Stevens' film, A Place in the Sun, Elizabeth Taylor stands in the iron door of Montgomery Cliff's cell before he takes the last walk to the death house. After a long pause, she whispers, it's like we're always saying goodbye. Oh, I, I don't need to watch that again. June 18, well, they left this morning, my youngest daughter and her husband. They were here as part of the family plan to give their old man love and comfort in the last weeks of a bad spring, but they have learned to only say, uh, see you soon. Well, in late July, the older daughter, Dawn, the, the third-generation graduate of Colby College, and her husband will spend two weeks in a splendid rented lakeside cabin. It, it too, will be a gifted visit, and then they have changed. Goodbye to see you in July. And fly back to work in the City of Angels. One of those you see is the Jolie Ancestral Family Home, where every August, Kay's parents send tickets for my daughter and, the, and their mother to spend August in Maine and left this old man with the dogs. And I thought that was hard. Does all this sound familiar? Of course it doesn't. You're normal. And I'm a kid dressed up like an old man. Give me a break. In the early years, Maine was the normal land, the ancestral base where it was fun to be young. The college years were when we chanted, goodbye, have fun, as off they went to Sarah Lawrence in New York and, and Paris. We kept using goodbye when Jelana went to New York Law School and then back to L.A. to become an agent and Dawn went off to Paris to speak French like Leslie Caron and, 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 and study art. So here I am in charge of this sacred place where she, the mother, wife, and lover, actor, dancer, and beloved teacher, spend an hour of each morning reading her miss and sorting through piles of her students' grades and, and correcting these columns. To, her old desk is full of framed photos from years of celebrations, birthdays, anniversaries, and graduations left for me to paste in albums. Do people in this age of iPhone cameras still do that? So, this is what she's been doing all these years, huh? Here, at this cluttered desk, paying our bills, reading in the missile and collecting pictures of little girls grown to women who came over and over and over to shout hello and whisper goodbye into outstretched arms. Okay. The youngest daughter and her husband are gone. And I'm sitting here waiting for bedtime. Well, if I can stay alive and cognizant, Another day, a week, a year, they and their husbands will come again and sit around the table, raising our glasses of wine, fake beer, and Diet Coke, and a toast to the great lady in the portraits and the millions of photos I've collected of she who gave them life and taught them to live with grace and dignity. Each night before bed, I, as I turn out the lights and kiss all the shadows around each room, hoping that one of them is she, and whisper, let's stop saying goodbye, okay? Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Divine. On the Edge with J.P. Divine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.